Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael, your host here at MTT Finance. And today we're gonna to be talking about the spicy topic of credit cards. But before we get into today's topic, I'm assuming that if you've clicked on this video, you're somewhat interested in understanding your finances better. So I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, as I'm gonna be putting out way more content like this on how to understand your finances better and how to better manage your money. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. And in order to do that, I have to tell you guys a story. This story is about a young boy named Tommy. Tommy boy. Tommy boy was just a young lad like everyone else. He went to elementary school and high school with all his friends. But when Tommy boy's time in high school was drawing nigh, he stumbled upon a video showcasing how credit card companies will sometimes target young freshmen in college and try to get them to sign on with their credit cards so that they can use the credit card throughout their college careers and purchase many different things with them. Tommy Boy also learned that a lot of college kids don't know how to use their credit cards efficiently and well, they can end up getting themselves in a lot of debt. So much debt, in fact, that they spend years trying to get out of it. Tommy Boy didn't want to make the same mistakes as everyone else, so he decided to stay far away from credit cards. In order to get himself through college, he purchased a second-hand used car with the money he had saved up from working a part-time job at a restaurant. After graduating from college, Tommy Boy got himself a nice job, but after about a year, his used car finally broke down and he went with his father to the local dealership and they picked out a 2019 Hyundai Elantra for Tommy Boy to drive for his new job. Tommy Boy was very pleased with his new car, but he remembered people told him in order to buy a new car, he would need a credit card, but he didn't end up needing one. He was able to complete the transaction without his credit card, as the car company was able to look back and see his past payment history on his student loans that he had been faithfully paying off. This made Tommy Boy pretty happy. Some time went by and Tommy Boy, he found himself a girl. And the two of them fell madly in love. Tommy Boy and this new girl, we'll, we'll call her Becky, they got together and decided to get married. So Tommy Boy did the responsible thing. He went out and found a house they could live in, a house he could buy. And wouldn't you know it, he was able to complete the entire transaction from start to finish without ever showing anyone a credit card. And he was able to get a historically low mortgage rate of 3% on his mortgage loan. This once again made Tommy very happy. As an added bonus, when Tommy Boy and Becky got married, they were able to go on their honeymoon and stay at a nice location with once again, never needing to show a credit card to anybody. And so Tommy Boy began to wonder, what is a credit card used for then? He's been able to make all the major purchases in life with either his debit card or paying with cash. And so what would be the purpose of using a risky credit card to pay for anything? Why even have one in the first place? Well, before we go any further, I think it's important to point out that in this story, I am Tommy Boy. I know, surprise, surprise, right? But the other day I was thinking, I made a lot of major purchases in my life buying a new car, staying at a hotel, and buying a house, all without the use of a credit card, which I was told I would need if I wanted to do any of those things. And so I started to actually think to myself, why would I need one in the first place? But with all of that being said, there are some major benefits to using a credit card, but that's if you're using them responsibly and efficiently. The card I chose to go with for my very first credit card is the Amazon Prime Visa Signature Card. I know you probably can't see it from there. The camera doesn't zoom in, but that's okay. Now this video is not gonna be about the specific benefits to owning an Amazon Signature Visa. Instead, it's gonna be about the overall benefits to having and using a credit card. And so here they are, four big benefits to using and having a credit card. And once again, disclaimer, this is only if you're using a credit card 
safely, responsibly, and efficiently. And these four things are not the end all be all. There's actually many more benefits to using a credit card, but these are the things that are more meaningful to me. So for instance, you're not gonna hear me talking about getting rewards points for travel. I don't really travel, and at this point in time, I don't really care to, so that's not gonna be one of the reasons I'm highlighting. But number one, the first benefit to having and using a credit card, and this comes from when you first sign on with a credit card, is that a lot of the major companies have sign-on bonuses. Usually this looks like that if you were to spend so much money in the first three months of owning the card, you'll get uh, X amount of cash back at the end of those three months because you met the requirements. With my Amazon Signature Visa, I really didn't have to spend anything. All I had to do was sign up and I got a $150 Amazon gift card to go towards my Amazon Prime account. This actually came in really handy as I was able to use that money to purchase a barber chair for my wife as she's starting up her own barber salon business. And so it was a perfect asset to buy with the gift card. The second big benefit to owning a credit card, and not all credit cards do this, but a lot of the major companies will offer this on their, their big cards, and that is getting cash back on your purchases. What this means is that if you were to use your credit card and not a debit card or cash as a means to pay for an item, that credit card company will give you so much cash back for your purchase. Usually there's somewhere between 1.5% all the way up to like with my card, which is 5%, but only at select retailers. So with my Amazon card, I get 5% cash back when I shop at Amazon or a Whole Foods market, which I really don't have any around here. I also get 2% back when I use my card at drugstores, gas stations, or restaurants, and I get 1% cash back on basically all other purchases. Each credit card company offers their cash back a little bit differently. So for instance, with my Amazon card, typically the cash back is given in rewards points that you can use on Amazon. But if you're already doing a ton of shopping on Amazon, that's gonna be really beneficial to you. Some people don't like that, however, as they want their cash back in cash, you know, deposited to their bank account. And so they'll opt for things like the City Double Cash Back card or the Chase Freedom Flex card. I think that's another one. There's a ton of them. The third major benefit that I find most important for me when I was shopping around for a credit card is the safety aspect or the purchase protection you get from using a credit card. Credit card companies are able to offer way more purchase protection than say your debit card from your bank would. As when you use your debit card, the transaction happens pretty immediately. However, with your credit card, there is a little bit delay with the processing for that transaction. So for example, there was one time where my debit card information was stolen. They were using it over at a mall in India to purchase hundreds of dollars worth of clothing items. Thankfully, my bank was on top of this more than I was, and they were able to turn off my debit card before any more purchases were made. But still, this person was able to make these transactions with my debit card information. Thankfully, this story did have a happy ending. The bank was able to credit the money back to me because it was caught in time, and I really didn't lose anything. However, I have heard stories of people who will have their debit card information stolen or compromised in some way, but because they didn't catch the transactions quick enough, their bank basically threw their hands up and said, nope, this is your problem and you're gonna have to reimburse this and all the extra charges that were tacked on because you didn't have this amount of money in your checking account. However, this is usually not so with a credit card because there is a delay with the transaction. Usually credit card companies are much more on top of this and they will actually stop that purchase from happening and that way you do not lose any money. And the fourth reason I went ahead and decided to get myself a credit card and something that you will probably find valuable in your own life and that is to start building up a better credit history and get yourself a nice credit score. So as I said earlier with the Tommy Boy story, I was able to make all those transactions, buy a house, buy a car, get a hotel room, all without the use of a credit card, and having them only look at my credit history from paying back my student loans every month. However, I do have some plans in the, I would say a little bit far future, to do things like maybe purchase some real estate, either that in the form of rental property or um, somewhere to own a business. And if I were to do this, I would want to have good credit. That way, when it comes time to make the purchase, I can get myself a nice interest rate on the loan. I also think this is something that's good to take in mind, especially if you're in high school right now 
or in college because having a good credit score and good credit history built up that these creditors can look at is really gonna help you when it comes time for you to maybe purchase a car or buy a home. You may not have the same life circumstances that I did, where I just so happened to already be paying on my student loans and they were able to look at that information, or you may not find yourself, and I hope you don't find yourself, in the middle of another pandemic, which causes the interest rates to go so low. And because of that, it would be good for you to get yourself a credit card and to learn how to use it responsibly so that you can start earning yourself some good credit history that you can use to show to a creditor and say, hey, I know how to pay back my purchases online and here's my record and resume of doing so. I'm gonna be making a video sometime in the near future on what it's like to actually use the Amazon Prime Signature Visa. However, at the time of filming this, I've only owned it now for about four days. And so I don't think that's enough time to really get a good feel for the card and what it's like to get the rewards back and the cash back and all that stuff. That's something that's gonna be coming out in the future. So stay tuned, subscribe so that you don't miss content like that. And once again, I know I've already stated this in the video, but credit cards are like double-edged swords. You really have to be careful and knowledgeable on how to use them because if you just use them as credit and you buy things that you do not already have the money for, you can get yourself into so much trouble. Like it's not worth it. So only use a credit card on a purchase if you have the money right then and there to pay it off. No exceptions. Don't give yourself room for exceptions as that could lead to heartache and a headache later on. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment down below of what you think, maybe your experience with using a credit card, or maybe even write to why you have held off on using a credit card or getting yourself a credit card until now. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.